Okay, so a few SD card issues there. Again, on my phone, I don't know what happened, but it cut out in the video. But we got most of the setup done. So I've just heated up the nozzle to nearly 190 degrees. I'm just curious to see how well calibrated it is. So we've got a Fluke IR thermal camera here. Um, set it set it to on near. Point it under here and see how hot the hot bit is. card in here but 190 degrees okay, as close as I can so 190 degrees actually registers as 160 on the nozzle but that's the outside of the nozzle. There's obviously a temperature gradient between the outside of the nozzle and the inside, um, and the heat chamber. Am I, am I convinced it's 190 degrees in there? I'm not sure, um, but it's probably pretty close. It might be, you know, maybe five to ten degrees out. So yeah, that's that's pretty good. Just turn this baby off. What I will do is I'll do a video of the bed heating up with this and we'll see how well the heat pattern appears. Okay, so that's the uh, that's that. So how to load the filament. Yeah, hung the PLA, yeah, yeah, yeah. Heated the thing up. Tap on the load filament button, so you don't need to do any of this malarkey and clamp it, you just feed it in. So let's see how that goes. Nice bit of filament there, let's put it to there, tap load. Right, well that's fed in lovely. I guess you tap stop load when it's um, it's oozed it out a bit. Uh, let's do that again. And there we go. Out it comes. With some factory PLA that they've obviously tested the heads with, some pink and purple PLA. Cool. And click done on that. Awesome, you have completed the initial setup. Uh, very good. Got it. So, right. I wonder is there any test files? test files so none stored yet so what well, there's four gig free locally on here which is nice um so what do the settings do uh, okay sort by name date which is nice touch screen's dead responsive um any, any settings on here Let's touch the heated bed. And, uh, ah, there we go. So, just go to here. Files, calibration, settings, controls. I'm guessing. Where are the only two screens? Yep, yeah, that's it. Nothing top bottom. Let's go to control. Yep, so we've got a nice little thing where we can jog everything around. I can hold the axes. Let's do that. So 
so obviously Holmes the limit switches on the axes are at the top and it's going to be X I guess yep God, can you imagine printing something that, that big <laughs> with a 0 0.4 nozzle I think I'd be changing the nozzle out to a 1mm if I was printing something that was going to be really large Anyway, right, X is done, Y is done, Z is done, so I guess you can just jog it 10mm at a time now on this axis here, so let's set that. Let's move the Y back, put X there. Now it says Z offset here, but I'm not sure whether that is the offset. I mean, probably means Z-axis, really. Where's my finger on it? Does it just... No. Oh, okay. Right, so let's do... I'm just going to move the axis out of the way, actually. I'm just going to hold it again. It'd be quite interesting to do with the heat up of the bed, wouldn't it? So let's do that. You get this nice little snap maker shaped USB. There might be some test files on there. Anyway, let's heat the bed up. Heated bed. Let's say I want it, it's at 26 at the moment. So let's say I want it to get it to, let's do a PLA temperature of 65. Go. Let's put the thermal camera back on. Let's see what the heat pattern's like. Uh, power up. So let's see, see if we can get a. Not whether you can, can you see that on there? A bit closer. So what I'm seeing. It's pretty good. It's a, in the centre it's 39, 40 degrees now. Um, you can sort of see the pattern. Let's get it on. It's a bit hard to focus on this. Yeah, you can see the heat patterns pretty good. Um, you know, the very edge. So in the centre it's 42.6. That's it. Let's get it. No, 40. 43.44 and it just drops off hardly anything to be honest and then as soon as you go off the bed it's yeah back to not a lot so the very edges yeah they're they're cool 37 the center so the you know 10 degrees C drop across the bed, but it's 47 degrees there. You know, it's one or two degrees for nearly all of the bed except for the last very edge. So that's a pretty nice even heat distribution pattern there. It's what 40. Interesting, actually. So <laughs> it's actually 50. Well, I would argue this flute meter, because it's about a thousand quid, is uh, a better calibrated than this 3D printer. And it's actually reading 50, 
53 degrees um, yet yeah, on the display it's 49 so interestingly if it's a few degrees out maybe four or five degrees out you might get close to a temperature that well no you no no you won't get lucky with ABS at 90, 90 95 degrees really does need to you might be with some of the you know Titan Titan X form Futura stuff but any normal bog standard ABS that's not been had any modifiers for specific for 3D printing you need to be up at 115 easy so yeah 50 yeah it's about four degrees four or five degrees out four degrees out but yeah the heat pattern's great really good heat pattern on that um, it's covering nearly all the bed and uh, certainly all the major areas very edges drops down to yeah about 10 degree drop cool 